Hi everybody, it's Simon from Pearly Winks Craft Supplies and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a card. Um, I'm going to be using a couple of different things from our range. So I'm going to be using the Flourishing Flower Stencil. Excuse this, it's a little bit messy, it's very used. Um, <clears throat> so that's going to create the background of my card. I'm also going to be using a stamp from uh, We Are A Family Stamp Set. I'm going to be using Sapphire Stamp and I'm going to be using Happy Birthday. I'm also going to be using some of our lovely Winky Inkies um, to colour up a face. So I'm going to be using these like watercolours um, in the same, the same sort of way. Um, and I'm also going to be using some of the blending pads which I've created using the Winky and Kiss. Oh, that's a, a horrible sound. So first of all, I'm gonna create my background. I'm just gonna give my brush a little bit of a clean to try and get some of the color out of it. So I'm going to take a piece of card, this is going to be my card that I'm going to use. So this particular piece is a 6 I think, just show you the measurements, 10.6 by 14.8. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the We Are A Family Stamp, uh, sorry no I'm not, I'm going to use the stencil, so I'm going to position my stencil where I'd like the focal point to be and I think I'm going to do it like there, so I'm going to use the top quarter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the lines are not, if it's not covering and it doesn't leave a border, I don't really want a border on it. So I'm going to create a border soon. So I'm going to use the yellow blending pad. So to create the blending pad, just let me see if I've got quite a dry one. I'll show you how to do that again. Just a quick recap. Um, Right, so to create these, this one's a purple, I'll just pop a couple of drops on, like so. Then add some of the magic drops. Now the more you add, the lighter the colour's going to be, the less you add. Um, the darker the colour will be but the harder it will be to blend with them and then just get something like a credit card not one that you use um, and just using a plastic scraper and just work it into the fibres once you've got it in the fibres you can then start pulling it through just to make sure it gets a lovely even coating so that when you come to use that you just need to dab on your brush and use it as a blender. You can also edge with these around your card as well. I'm just going to pop that to one side because I'm not going to use that one. Um, and I want to try adding some yellow. So you pick it up on your blending pad. On your, um, I'm using a blending brush for this. And then just go through your stencil. What you'll notice is, as I'm going further along, there's other colours in my blending pad, so it's pulling those through, so I think I must have had a blue one, which is why it's gone a little bit green there. And what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and use colours that I'm not going to use in my um, painting. 
So that's why I've gone for a yellow. Um, because I'm going to use pinks and the tan. Um, I might even give her some purple hair. Anywhere you've missed, just go back in. Try not to overload your block brush because if you overload it, what you'll find is it'll start seeping underneath the stencil. If it starts seeping underneath the stencil, um, you'll still be able to use the image, but it just won't be as nice. Right. <clears throat> if you did want to add any extra colour into it, Like maybe create a greenish blend going down. I don't know if this will work with what I'm actually going to create. Um, but what I do is maybe go in with a little bit of green. Oops. Like so. And just drag down. Go up and down. And what you'll find is because yellow's in green, so to make yellow uh, green you're using um, blue and yellow, what you'll find is it's a nice blend as it goes down. <coughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some glitter pearl, give it a bit of a swirl. Remember, not a shake, a swirl. Move that out of the way. I'm just going to give it one squirt and then I'm going to dry that with my dryer. What you might notice is just where that's landed. So here, here, and here, and here. Where there's a couple of splodgy bits, it actually lifts the colour out. I'm going to show you how to lift the colour out in a minute. Uh, when I actually paint with the Winky Inkies themselves. Remember, flip over your project. I'm just going to dry it on there because the moisture is coming out of the card. Here. So for this I'm just using, um, I think it is, it's just 160 GSM. It's nothing special, really cheap card. Um, and it works really well with our inks as well. And I'll just give that a little bit of a shake for you. And you might be able to see the glitter shining through. A little really does go a long way. Right, now I've already stamped Sapphire onto a piece of card. And then I'm going to start adding some colour. So for her skin, I'm going to use our tan. I'm just going to pop the tan there, so I know which one that is. Um, you may have seen this technique before. Um, I do actually use it quite a bit, but I just didn't actually know what it was called. Um, Tina in our design team, um, she actually used it and it's apparently called the wet on wet technique. So what you do is you just basically, so what I've already done, I've got some black on my brush there. So what I've already done is I've stamped the image and then I've heat embossed it. So I've used some wow embossing powder, super gloss super fine um, and what that does that makes sure that if you if you're not using a um like a solvent based ink like a um a stays on uh, if because i'm using a versafine and versafine is actually a water-based product and because i'm going to be using water-based inks over the top of it and water it'll actually um drag the color out 
So to get around that, I've heat embossed it so it shouldn't drag any colour out um, because it's basically set the ink. So just go around a face. with water close my chant again this is 160 gsm card it's not watercolor card it's just a standard um a standard card and go over a neck as well now i've just got two drops of the tan on there i'm just going to pick up a tiny little bit and i'm just going to go around the edge face. Once done that, I'm going to take some water off my brush and I'm just going to drag that colour in. If it's set anywhere, just go over with a wet brush again. And that'll reactivate the ink. This even works on card that's not watercolour. So this is just, as I said, this is just standard card. What I would say though is don't let it dry completely. Once it's dry, it'll it'll be harder to lift off. I'm going to drag the colour in and I'm going to leave the natural highlights as much as possible. So oh, that's her face. I'm quite happy with that. <clears throat> I'll just make a T section in a head a little bit lighter. So this is how you take off some colour. So you wet your image. Get some tissue. And that will lift the colour off for you. So you should be left with an image that's dark around the outside, which your face naturally tends to be, and then lighter in the middle. All right, now I'm going to work on a neck. So again, a neck will be darker around the outside under a chin, and then it'll be lighter towards the centre. So I'm going to put my water on. And then... I'm going to work from the outside dry my brush and then I'm going to drag that colour all the way across like so now you'll be able to see that she's not much lighter in the centre as I said before some water, tissue, and you'll create a highlight down the centre of the neck. If you want to go a bit darker, just go back in. And then blend that colour into the rest of it. It goes dark or as light as you want. Now I hardly touched that ink that was there a minute ago, I just wiped it off. Um, one drop of the colour would have sufficed all of that. Um, but I used two drops by accident. Don't worry if you go into the whites of the eyes because you can always rectify that by using a white pen. Um, I'm using Jelly Rollers by Sakura, which are lovely. Um, right, for her eyes, I don't actually want to do forest colour eyes. I might do teal. So, for this, there's a little bubble there. That should be enough. That should be more than enough to do the eye. Um, 
I'm going to use my number two brush. I don't want to use number one because it's quite a long brush. I'm just going to pick up some of the green. I'm not going to water this down. So I'll drive my brush off. I want to have really deep teal eyes. So while that's still wet, what you can do if you didn't want to go as dark is dry your brush off once the colour's on and then lift off the colour with the dry brush so you'll see that when that dries it's going to be really dark and when that dries it's going to be really pale I'm just going to pick up some more colour and I'm just going to go back in because I want it a darker look like so it's still not as dark as the first one so colours really easy to work with Still not even used all of that, what I was going to use. <clears throat> These are really concentrated. Now for a lips, I want a bright pink. Ooh, hey, I nearly used two drops then. I don't need two drops. Again, wet my brush. I want it to be really bright. So I'm going to take off any excess water that I've got on my brush. And then I'm just going to go in within the lines, like so. If you wanted a light colour, you just go in with the dry brush. And you can lift some of that colour back out. A bit brighter than that. So what I'm going to do is again dry brush, pick up some more colour. I'm going over the top for a second time. You can layer it, you can go back over it a third time, a fourth time, a fifth time. The more you do it, the darker it will be. If you wanted it lighter, get water on your brush first. Pick it up, some colour. And then you get more of a blush pink. I'm going to cut this out so it doesn't really make a difference. So I'll just show you again. So that's with a wet brush. And then with a dry brush. It's still a bit wet. It's darker. Or if you went in with a really, really, really wet brush. almost so it can be watered down that's just to show you it can be watered down right the green set on the eyes the pink's done i'm going to concentrate on the hair now you can see didn't even need all that pink right. if you were to use it in a paint palette what would happen is it dry once it is dry it can be reactivated with water so it doesn't get wasted so um, I'm not using a paint palette, so that's why I've not um, left it. Um, so arise, actually. I'm just wasted that pink. That's what I'm going to go in with. Maybe I'm going to go back in with a pink. I don't think this is going to work together. Pink and teal, but we shall see. So, just want it to be really subtle. So, I'm adding water to it, diluting it. And I'm just going to add the pink just to our eyes. Want it to be really pale. Dab off my brush. Dab off the excess. So you'll see it's just a slight pink. So it's not pure white. I'm going to do the same on that side.
slide a little bit of color to her face. You can even if you wanted to go underneath the eye. If you wanted to, you could add the definition of the nose with the brown, things like that. Right, so she's got slight pink. I don't want it to be over the top. I don't want it bright pink. I don't want it bold. Um, <clears throat> so now I'm going to go in for the purple. What I'll do is I'm just going to pop the tiniest little bit. I'm going to pop that purple there. I'm going to use that. I might need to. I'm just going to pop just there. I'm going to let that dry. Hopefully that bit's in shot and you'll be able to see. Uh, once it's dry, I'll just blast it with a heat gun actually and dry it. You can reactivate. Again, with the hair, add your water. up some purple and your water will spread the product by you don't really need to do much just disperses everything itself do the same on the other side pick up some product as you can see I'm not really doing much, it's just dispersing. Then I'm just going to go back over, I'm just going to dry. And then I'm just going to go all the way over. Just drag the colour through. I won't be too bothered if you Go over your edges because it's going to cut this out anyway. Right, then I'm going to take the finest brush I've got and then I'm just going to use some raw product. I'm not going to water it down just to add a bit of highlights. I'm just going to try that layer off. If it's dry it won't interact but if it's wet it will I'm just going to pop a couple of fine lines just to so it's not just a flat piece I'm just following these pieces black lines like so right and then I'm gonna around and just get my scissors all right so I've got my scissors I'm just gonna cut around as close as I can to the line Where the lines break, I am going to use a black pen, so like here on her face and on her neck and across the top of her head, I'm going to use a black pen. Now, I want to be as close as possible, that's dead close, uh, but as close as possible, maybe a millimetre, two millimetres in. If 
you go leave a really big gap what you'll find is it doesn't look right and it doesn't sit right on your background so once I've cut this out I'm going to add some little highlights My neck. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna give it a straight line. I'm just gonna give it a bit of a, a bit of a curve to it. I'm going to try not to cut into a face. I really struggle with these bits. So, there we go. That's the face completed. So with a white gel roller, jelly roll, sorry, I'm going to then just pop in just on her eye, just a little line there and a little line there and just adds like a light reflection into her eye. And then I'm going to pop a curve there, a dot, a line. So it just looks like she's got lipstick on. Then with a black pen, if I can find mine here, what you're going to do is you're just going to join these lines to where her face is, just continue that line. And also here, continue that line. And then continue up here and up here. And don't forget to join the top of the head. This black pen is running out, which is typical. And what you can do as well, if you want, you can add a couple of the black lines just to give a hair of a different colour. Say so my black pen's running out so I'm going to give that up as a bad job. Need some more. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab <coughs> some off cut of our 900 GSM card. And I'm going to stick it. I want the head to be quite raised. So I'm going to use, instead of using foam pads, I'm going to use these off cuts just to raise it. If anyone can hear that going off, I'm really sorry. It's an iPad or a tablet or something. I don't know whether it's mine. Um, no, nope, it's not mine. It's Adam's. I'll just see if I can find the sound button on it. Right, I'm 
cupboard, sorry, I can't find the sound button to it. I'll just move it across the other side of the room so hopefully you can't hear it. So I'm just building it up. Like so. You can use foam pads for this if you want. Doesn't really make a difference. It's what your own preference is. Stick some that on. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bend. So I'm just getting my fingers underneath and just rolling. And what that'll do, that'll create a raised bit in the centre. Like so. And then I'm going to stick this down the centre here. When I lift it, it raises, it just makes it pop just that little bit. I'm going to put that to one side. Now I've got another piece of card, I'm just going to check that's the right one. Which it is. Right, and I've cut this so it's 5mm bigger than the other one. So this one is 11 centimetres that is by 15.3 I think it is so I'm going to edge it with our winky inkies just going to dry my brush off now it's going to seem like I'm using a lot of product but I'm actually not So this is instead of using a black card, I'm actually going to just use white card, use our winky inker, just to create a bit of a black border. Need a little bit more. If you've got a darker black, more of a true black. Just layer it up, add another layer over the top. Just in case you've not got any black card, I'm just showing this technique. I have, but it is buried. I thought, might as well just make my own. And sometimes it's a shame to cut into your black card because your black card's I find it's one of the most expensive colour cards to have um, with our rinks and sprays you can literally spray in whatever colour you want um, so the only colour card that you really need is white card <clears throat> so I'm just going to dry that off and I'm going to start building my card together So when I stick this over the top, you're not going to be able to see. <laughs> I've still got my purple there drying. Drying away. I'll just pop this on there. So it's just going to look edged in black. And get tape runner again. Around the edges. Because I'm using um, a thin card, I'm not going to use a wet glue. Sometimes it can make it bubble if you use a wet glue on a thin card. 
If we're using a thicker card, then I would use our tacky glue. That's created a border. Then I've cut a piece of card. Again, five mil bigger. So it's 15.8. Then obviously it's a double size by 23 by 23. I think that's right. Yeah, by 23. In fact, this is going to be a bit. 23, two times. It's going to be a bit too wide. So what I'll have to do is once I've stuck it on, I can trim that down. Oh, no, it's not. No, that's fine. So then I'm going to stick my back down to that. See the white here. And stick that down like so. And then the sapphire I'm going to pop up in this corner. So see what I mean? If I'd have used um, like the pinks and the blues and things, the purple would have got lost in that. Um, but because I've used the green, I'll show you one that I did earlier. So because I've used the green, the face pops off more whereas on the purple one it doesn't it kind of blends in and looks all the same um, so that's why I've gone for the dark colour right now my sentiment I'm going to use just check if that's going to fit which it is so again I'm just going to use whatever's on my brush just to edge it it happens to be the green Just to give it a bit of an edge. And then I'm going to stamp on in a Versify. Let the ink sink in, seep in. This is sentiment from our We Are Family stamp set. Happy birthday. And then I'm going to just get another piece of mount board. I actually prefer using this than the um, foam pads because it's a lot stronger and it gives lovely rays. Well, again, double sided. Put that down there. Put that in this corner, like so. You could add it off on an angle in the centre. So I actually quite like it in the centre actually. That looks quite nice. Just push down. And there you have the finished card. So just to recap, I've used the Winky Inkies. I've used the black, the pink, the tan, the teal and the purple. I've also used magic drops because I've used the blending pads that I created, which I've shown you earlier, using um, a blank ink pad, magic drops, and some winky inker to create the background. So for the background, I used the orange and uh, sorry, the yellow and the green. Then I've used the flowering flourish stamp stencil. Sorry, we are a family stamps. I've used the sapphire and the happy birthday from there. And I've used a black winky inker 
to do my edging and I've also used our glitter pearl as well so I did say I'm going to show you that you can reactivate the winky inkies once they're dry if you were to do it in a palette so I'm just going to quickly dry off this and then I will reactivate it with the water Oh, uh, almost dry. I think, I think we're dry. So then all you would need to do A wet brush go over the top and you've reactivated your ink works in exactly the same way if you wanted to drag more of the product out make it a bit lighter you can do that if you even wanted to lift some of the colour off you can still do that You want it to make it a bit darker, you pull up a bit more of the colour again, you can still do that. So it just works just the same. Um, so there is no waste to the inks. <clears throat> if you put loads down, you can always pipette it back into the bottle. Um, but once it dries, it's perfectly fine to carry on using it. So hope you enjoyed the card tutorial really simple really quick quite cute um and i'll be back soon to show you some more creations using our products thanks for watching take care bye bye